Good morning, Jim and Janelle. Well, we're currently seeing some of the effects of now Tropical Storm Ian as it makes its way east after it left mass destruction in southwest Florida. Meantime, here in the Orlando and central Florida area, the biggest concern is for historic flooding. Jacob! Some good Samaritans in Bonita Springs, Florida, jumped into action, rescuing an elderly man trapped in his car in rising flood waters. Scenes like these somewhat common as Ian roared into southwest Florida with a vengeance as one of the most powerful storms ever to hit the U.S. This morning, Ian is still churning its way across the state after making landfall yesterday as a Category 4 hurricane with 150 mile per hour winds. The streets and the sea became one and the same across the region, like in this neighborhood near Naples. It's been that surge that has been the, the, the biggest issue uh, and the flooding uh, that has resulted uh, as a result of that. In some areas, uh, we think it's hit 12 feet. In Tampa, strong gusts sent this traffic light crashing to the ground. Flooding forced CBS affiliate Wink TV to move to another newsroom location until a power outage knocked the station off the air. Even though the storm has weakened, the danger certainly has not passed. As it moves north and east, the National Weather Service is warning significant to catastrophic flooding is expected to develop in areas throughout the day, like here in Orlando. The Orlando airport began canceling all flights yesterday until further notice, stranding some passengers. Now we're just going to kind of hang out until the... Until the until Friday. After passing through Florida's East Coast today, Ian is expected to move on to Georgia and South Carolina's coast tomorrow. And there are already reports of widespread power outages in the most affected areas. They are completely out of power. But even in central Florida, just about 30 minutes west of where we're located in Polk County, about half of the customers are out of power. Overall, two and a half million people in Florida without electricity. Jim Janelle. Wow, the impact just so widespread, Christian. Incredible to see those images there. Thank you so much for that report and please stay safe.